Hi Virgo, this is your bi-weekly uh, general reading. Thank you so much for being here with me today. You can watch this reading if you are a Virgo sun, Virgo moon, Virgo rising. If you have a uh, any plan any major planets in the Virgo, you can watch this reading. As of today, we actually have the moon in Virgo, so how appropriate. Um, but we're going to be looking at your past, present, and future today. For your reading, I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot deck here by Lisa Sterling. I'll also be using the After Tarot deck here by Pietro Illigo and Corinne Kenner artwork by Julia Francesca Massaglia. So hopefully that sounds good. Virgo, let's go ahead and get into it. Virgo, I feel like you guys need some love. I feel like y'all need some loving. Show me Virgo's past, present, and future. All Virgos that may be watching, Virgo suns, moons, risings. Virgos on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the sixth house. And Venus in Virgo. All planets Virgo. Really. Show me their past, present, and future. present and future. Guys, I hope you can hear me. My mic uh, is not working. And actually, I think that it was burning out anyway, so I'm hopefully going to get a replacement soon, and that one will not, uh, that one will hopefully be working properly. So, show me Virgo's past, present, and future, please. Show me their past, present, and future. Stop there. Underneath the deck, we have the death card, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio. This could also indicate a major ending in your life, a major transformation. You could be changing something about how you look. Um, I'm definitely getting, um, for some of you, this could also be here, uh, some kind of major surgery, or you're going through a major life transition. Or like I said, you're just dealing with a Scorpio here. I feel like whatever this is, you need to be strong while you go through this change, while you go through this transformation. Um, I am seeing a water sign coming up in your reading. Or this is you. I'm also seeing an air sign. I'm also or I'm seeing Aquarius here coming up in your reading. Uh, you have uh, some interpersonal dynamics going on, for sure. I definitely see specific interactions and things like that. So let's start with your past. Uh, 
I see uh, in your past here, you have the Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Um, I definitely see an exchange of gifts here. Okay, this could be any kind of exchange. I don't know why I was getting clothing. So I say the Six of Pentacles is a transaction here. This could have been um, a purchase here or an exchange, like I said. Whatever it was, I feel like it was successful. I'm also seeing new beginnings for you here, or you had a new beginning in your past. Um, I'm seeing an Aquarius here, or there's an energy of someone here that is, I'm hearing, they're trifling. Um... I'm seeing a lot of haters, uh, Virgo. I'm seeing uh, people here that are uh, being nasty. Whatever this new beginning is, it's quite passionate. I'm also getting a new creative direction. I'm also seeing someone here is purchasing a new, new outfit or, or is receiving gifts. You may have uh, received some gifts recently in the past that made you feel good about yourself. You felt proud, you felt successful. Um, honestly, I just see people being jealous of that. I don't know. Uh, one thing I'm not seeing here is gratitude, but I do see here a feeling of pride. Okay. I never, I'm not the type, type of person to tell someone to be humble. But um, I'm not seeing that here. So it's not that it's missing, but I'm just not seeing it. In your current situation, you have the Knight of Cups in the upright, clarified with the Page of Pentacles reverse. So water sign, earth sign here. I'm seeing someone that's uh, following their heart, following their passions. But I'm seeing a lot of disorganization. I'm also seeing here um, someone could have a learning disability or is having trouble staying focused or budgeting. Uh, you could be offering something here. We have the high priestess in reverse. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing fake friends or you have someone here that is a fake friend, Virgo. Or superficial. I'm also getting someone here is not listening to their intuition or they're revealing uh, secrets here. Or they're revealing their own. This is a withdrawn energy as well. The high priestess in reverse. I'm seeing someone offering, to so, uh, uh, offering something to someone who is very withdrawn. Okay. Sometimes this, uh, I'm seeing a water sign here, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They go from being a page of pentacles reversed to a king of pentacles in the upright. Um, what I kind of get from this person is uh, materialistic. Um, I feel like this is someone who I'm not getting a whole lot of depth from this person. Okay, I'm also getting Taurus here. 
uh, and Capricorn. I'm also getting Pisces here, but the Earth energy is fluctuating. I'm seeing them go from being um, just a moody person. It's just a moody person. Also, um, someone here is definitely uh, pretending everything is okay, but it's not. I'm definitely seeing also... playing on your phone or someone's playing on their phone. I'm getting a lot of hurtful things here. Clinging on to the past. I'm also seeing rejection when it comes to love here. Now this could be you or this water sign. I'm definitely seeing someone turning down an offer or someone here is not open emotionally. Someone here could be uh, just drained, emotionally drained is what I'm getting. Or someone here is emotionally draining to you. Right. Going into the future, you have the King of Wands reversed with the Judgment card. So I'm definitely seeing a Sagittarius here. Is a, a male energy, a masculine, is making a decision to come back here and work with you. I'm definitely seeing a collaboration here, but I don't think that... Uh, I'm seeing like two people here feel left out or two people here are, are excluded. I'm getting, there's a lot of clicky, like clickiness, clicky stuff going on here. Like clicks is what I'm getting, like fake friends and that kind of thing. But you do have a star. Okay. So... This is a wonderful card of healing, rejuvenation. I'm also hearing going to the spa. Some of you are going to be um, leaving a work situation to do something solo. I'm hearing a solo artist. I'm also seeing someone here who's in the spotlight. If that's what you want to do, then do it. Uh, where this is all going, you have the Seven of Pentacles with the King of Cups. So some of you are going to be waiting on a water sign here. I feel like this person is from your past or has fond memories of you. This is someone you've known from your past. I'm also seeing an air sign coming in here to seal the deal or to deliver some news to you. I'm seeing two masculine energies here, a, a water sign from your past and an air sign, uh, probably uh, could be an Aquarius here. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing um, Virgo, you do not want a serious relationship right now. I'm getting also, uh, you might be friends with benefits with two of these men here, or two of these masculine energies. There's someone, there's something here that you're you're refusing to let go of that you're not able to walk away from. You keep coming back to a situation here or a person. Could be an air sign. I'm also getting Taurus. I see Aquarius coming up here. I see Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, and Aquarius. I feel like also possibly a Virgo, you could be ending things uh, once this air sign comes back. I see you ending things with both of them, but you're waiting for it's it's like um,
I'm seeing a cycle here ending. I don't understand what's going on here because I'm, I'm really getting, once someone comes back to you, um, once someone comes back into the picture here, something ends, and then I'm seeing another cycle repeating emotionally, okay? Um, I'm seeing a, a something where it's stuck. you're stuck in a friends with benefits situation because you choose to be like that. You choose that. Okay. Or someone else is, is stuck in this cycle with you. I think I'm going to pull... How are we doing? So... I think I'm going to pull a... Uh, A roomy for you. A roomy. What is your guidance for Virgo? You have a new gown. I feel like this has a lot to do with like your self-worth, your self-esteem, what you feel you deserve, what you know your, it's about knowing your worth really. And also um, not letting anyone else define you. This is, there's also obviously a heavy spiritual message here. That's card 18, which reduces to a 9. So definitely uh, something is getting wrapped up here. Something is being wrapped up. A cycle is ending. Um, there's a poem here by Rumi. I'll read it to you. It says, Weary and consumed by longing, I was caressed by my beloved last night. My wounded soul was set free when I tasted the sweetness of love. My spirit was lifted at once. I surrendered my life while overflowing with joy, and my vision was filled with light. Love said, don't feel so hopeless, my weary and gloomy one, for my generosity is beyond forgetting those devoted to me. See how boundless divine justice can be. Behold my immeasurable kindness. Love embraced my spirit and all my doubts vanished at once. A new and glorious robe of honor was placed on my shoulders. Love offered me the power of new vision and the transforming touch of divine generosity and placed the chalice of eternal wine in my hand. Rumi. I have the perfect gift for you. It is a gown of new colors, of colors perfectly suited to you and no other. The colors of this gown will make your eyes sparkle and gleam as though they were more beautiful than the most precious of gems. The colors of this new gown will make your skin seem luminous as if lit from, be from within. For of course it is, beautiful angel. Your complexion is radiant with the light of life. Your hair will shine with luster and your entire being will be complemented by this gown as it enhances your beauty in all ways. So hold on no longer to that shabby, tattered cloak so unworthy of you. Cast it off. Let me grace your shoulders now with this royal robe instead, that you may shine beautifully as befits a royal child of divine parentage. So I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, 
if you would like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. Enjoy your new gown, your new robe. Take care.